Okay, step one to the perfect burger is making sure that each burger patty is about the same amount of meat. So I just use a measuring cup, fill it in, smash it in there, pop it out, and then mold it into a nice flat burger patty. Step two is sea salt. I just do a little nice coat on the top of each of these so you can kind of see we're getting a good even distribution of sea salt on each one. And then black pepper, same thing. Just a good even distribution on each patty. Step three is refined coconut oil in the pan. It's a it's an oil that will do good in the heat and because it's refined it doesn't have really any flavor so all the flavor is going to come from the burger. Okay so you want to make sure that your pan has been slowly warmed. I just turn the heat on kind of a lower heat to get the pan warmed up before I put the oil on before I even start making the patties. So now I put the oil in, the pan has got a nice distribution of oil, the heat's nice and distributed. So now we're going to put the patties on and we're going to go five minutes, five minutes per side. And we're doing the season side up for our first five minutes. So the timer goes on and see you in a few. Okay, so I just got through flipping the burgers. We've got another five minutes to go. Now the most important thing with a burger, never, never, never push down on the burger. That's gonna release all the juices, so you're gonna lose the juiciness of the burger, you're gonna lose the flavor of the burger. Never push down. Just flip, let it sit for five more minutes, and then you're ready. All right, burgers are done. So I'll just flip them over. Remember, we're not pushing down on them. Don't push down on your burger. That releases all the juices. And then we're going to let it sit, or as the fancy people say, we'll let it rest for just a few more minutes. It'll actually continue to cook inside just a little bit more. So we'll let it rest for about five minutes. We'll cut up our avocado, our tomatoes. Today we're going to wrap them in some blue corn tortillas with some mozzarella cheese, and should be good.